She has an eye on the corner and a green sapling club laid in readiness on the dresser by her side. Also, her sewing basket and a copy of the Young Lady's Journal. Oh, Henry. Oh, hi, I'm Stella and welcome to 30 Books. Quick bit of audio description as usual. I'm sitting in a light filled room. Behind me is a bamboo picture on a with a gold background. There is a big leafy pot plant behind me and if you've been watching my videos you will know that it has been growing and is threatening to take over the room. Also behind me is a purple chair. I am wearing my big blue glasses. I've got red lipstick and I'm wearing an orange ring and I am wearing a red and white checkered western shirt because today I'm going droving because the book I'm talking about today is Leah Purcell's The Drover's Wife, The Legend of Molly Johnson. Now, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Henry Lawson short story of The Drover's Wife. She is unnamed in the short story. She's just called The Drover's Wife uh, or The Bushwoman. So she, her husband is away droving. Her husband is away droving. He's been gone for six months. She's all on her own out in uh, a rural property, borderline poverty. She has four small children and a snake uh, comes into the house. So she spends the night in the kitchen. The kids are on the table and she watches out for the snake all night. It is a deadly snake, so it could kill her or her children. And while she's up all night, she reflects on her life. Now, the book I used to read from was the Children's Lawson, which was published in 1946. Now, I wasn't a child in 1946. In fact, I wasn't even born in 1946. It's got a stamp on it, the Education Migrant Camp in Northern. I didn't go to the Education Migrant Camp in Northern, so there's a whole other story there. What is different about Leah Purcell's book? Now, Leah Purcell is a playwright and actress, and now she's a novelist. So she originally wrote the play for The Drover's Wife, and it is in post-production as a film. It was supposed to come out this year. I'm not sure what's happening there with COVID-19. It's probably been held off. This is a reimagining of the story. So the driver's wife actually has a name now, Molly Johnson. And in this book, so Aboriginal lives are mentioned. Aboriginal people are mentioned in Henry Lawson's short story, but it's always in a bit of a racist, well, not a bit of, it's in a racist context. So what we would might call casual racism. You can argue about the racism in Henry Lawson's book and say, well, that is of the time. But at what point are we going to keep saying, well, that is of the time, we know better now? Because if you've been watching the news, if you've been paying attention, maybe it's something you've always known, we are seen to be, racism still seems to be of the time. So in uh, Leah Purcell's book, it's comes in multiple points of view. So it's in first person with Molly, but then it goes into third person. And it's often in first person for a range of characters. And sometimes even on the one page, let alone the one chapter. Now I found this a bit jarring at times, but I really got used to it. And I'm so glad I persevered with this book. There is a different type of snake that is now after Molly Johnson and her family and what that snake is and who it is. Also what's happening at the story, there have been murders taking place in the area that she lives and there is an Aboriginal man, Yadaka or Yadaka, on the run. He is chained around the neck and he turns up at Molly's house and that's all I'm going to let you know from there. Another through line through the plot. Uh, there is a young woman and her husband. They are sailing from England. They arrive 
in Australia. Now, this young woman is a suffragette, or she writes, uh, she writes, she's an editor of a magazine for the Emancipation of Women. But it absolutely seems to be only one type of women, and that is white women. And then we also have the point of view of the sheriff. Now, in all of this, Molly Johnson's husband is away. And how long he, has he been away for? What type of man is he? So these are the questions that uh, we are left asking. This is part mystery story, part evaluation of the time, and above all, a cracking good read that centers Aboriginal stories and Aboriginal characters. So that is The Drover's Wife by Leah Purcell. It has got one of the best covers I have ever seen. It thrums and it looks like it's on uh, a mountain range and it looks really cold as well. So I bought my book. I can't, I can't quite remember where I bought my book bought my book from but I've got a funny feeling it was from Big W which means it probably cost about $16 but that doesn't mean that Leah Purcell just gets $1.60 she still gets about $3 now what can you buy for $3 I'll tell you what a light glow so I hope that the light goes on for many people at the moment and I also thought it was a really interesting book to buy from uh, Big W because they generally do more commercial books. So run out and get The Drover's Wife by Leah Purcell. Keep an eye out for the film as well. Don't forget to like or comment. Love to hear your comments. What do you love about Leah Purcell? Obviously, that's what it's going to be. And hit the notification button and I'll see you next time on 30 Books.